When dealing with photosynthesis, everything starts off with photosystem 2. It consists of a pigment complex and an electron acceptor of molecules. It receives electrons from water as water splits releasing oxygen. When photosystem 2 water is used to make oxygen because in the loss of electrons water has been oxidized, then proving the release of oxygen during photosynthesis does come from water. We use this oxygen within our mitochondria. The hydrogen ions stay in the thylakoid space contributing to the formation of a hydrogen gradient. An electron acceptor sends energized electrons down the electron transport chain located in the lumen, which is the space inside the thylakoid. It is important because as a series of carrier, carriers pass electrons from one carrier to the next, energy is captured and storm, stored to form an, a hydrogen ion gradient. When this occurs, hydrogen ions flow down their chemical gradient through ATP synthase complex producing ATP. The in ATP production, the thylakoid space acts as a reservoir for hydrogen ions. Each time water is oxidized, the two hydrogen ions remain in the thylakoid space. As the electrons move from carrier to carrier along the energy transport chain, the electrons give up energy that is used to pump hydrogen ions from the stroma to the thylakoid space. Therefore, there are more hydrogen ions located in the thylakoid space versus the stroma. The flow of hydrogen ions from a high concentration to low concentration provides kinetic energy that allows an ATP synthase complex enzyme to produce ATP from ADP plus phosphate. This ATP production method is called chemoosmosis. This is very important because the ATP, pr the ATP produced will later be used for the Calvin cycle. Now, this leads into photosystem 1, which consists of the pigment complex and the electron acceptor molecules that is adjacent to NADP reductase, which reduces NADP plus to NADPH. And the pigment complex absorbs solar energy. Energized electrons leave its reaction center and are captured by electron acceptors. The electron acceptors in photosystem 1 pass their electrons to NADP plus molecules. Each molecule accepts two electrons to become a reduced form of the molecule, which is NADPH. NADPH will also be very useful in the Calvin cycle reactions in the stroma to reduce carbon dioxide to a carbohydrate.